Okay, so going right into our body, our better way of doing this, what is it? Well, it's something called grouping. And essentially, this is a much better way of doing this because sometimes we might not have the player. Sometimes we might even have a multiplayer thing. And this will kind of get around that very easily. And we can do that inside the player. Essentially, all we need to do is go into the node section, go to groups and add a plus button. Now, if you're in 4.2 or any other version, uh, it might look slightly different, but the idea is the same. So add the name of it. So we'll add a player. We can just hit OK. It doesn't need to be global. We'll save. And now if we go back to the script for the dirt plant, we're going to even head over to the scene itself. We can now change this to body dot is in group player. Now, this is essentially the same thing in the sense that it's just checking to see if it's a player. But this is a little nicer just because now the player itself and all players will be in this consistent group called player. All right, so now let's head over to our dirt plant and think about, OK, well, how do we actually interact with this? Right? What is an actual way we can interact with the uh, plant itself and do something using buttons, right? Because right now we've done interactions with the area 2D, but what about buttons and clicking? Well, what we can do is we can add a function called input event, and this passes through an event. Let me just pop this out like this. And inside of this event, we can do things. So what is one thing we can do? Well, we can check for an input is action just pressed. Now, if I wanted to do E like this, that's not really an option. For now, we'll do UI accept and we'll add custom made uh, things later. And for now, just to kind of get the idea of what's happening, we can just print something. Or actually, no, what we'll do is we'll change the label. We'll say press, uh, sorry, label.text. So if we want to change the text, we will say label.text. And then what we can do is uh, we can say, wait for the plant to grow now, or we'll just say grow. Okay, so there we go. We've been able to change the text. Now let's try it. Let's see what happens. If we hit play, we should be able to now walk up. It says press E to harvest. We can press space. And now it says wait for the plant to grow. But there's a problem. Maybe you might have noticed. If I go to the next plant and the next and the next, it does this for all of them. So what is the problem specifically? Well, the problem is that all the dirts in my world are now checking, right? All these guys are checking for the same input, which is spacebar, right? At the moment. But I only want the one plant that I'm on top to interact with. How do I do this? Well, we can get around this by adding a variable outside of the function called interact. And this can be a Boolean. And if you don't know what a Boolean is, it is essentially a true or false variable. So it's going to tell us if something is true or if something is false. So in this interact variable, we can now check to see if interact and I click. Now, how do I make sure that this is always happening though, right? Because if I check for if interact, this is essentially the same as checking if it's true. So I could also even type it out and say if true or is equal equal to true. This could also work. In fact, I might just leave this like this so that it's a little less confusing. But what about, but it's false by default, right? Over here it's false. So what do I do? Well, over here, when I enter the body, I can simply say interact equals true. Now here's a question for you. What do I do to make it false? Or when do I make it false, right? Because if I make it true here, I'm never making it false again. Well, you might guess I can make it false inside of the exited. When I exit this body, then I can make it false. So if we hit play, and we give it a try. I press E, but I go to the next one. It says that I haven't pressed E yet. And now you can see that I can saying wait for the plant to grow in this one, but here it says press E to harvest. All right, so that is essentially all we need to do to make an actual interaction system with our plant. Now in the next part, we'll actually go into not just interaction, because our interaction is pr pretty much done, but we also need to you know, add a plant, right? Uh, at the moment, we're interacting with it, but we don't have anything growing on it. So we have the dirt, we have interaction, but we don't have a plant on it. So in the next part, we'll take a look at how we can add a plant to our scene and to our dirt itself. All right, so I'll see you in the next part.